welcome back to another video with That's Awkward ASMR. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this wallpaper actually, which is going to go to members. So if you want to become a member, click the join button. You get tons of badges and moats and cool perks, as well as monthly shout outs. So let's shout out the members for the month of April. Rochelle Victoria, thank you so much for being a sleepy dumpling for 23 months. Anna Vore for being a dumpling for 17 months. Crypto Cat for being a sleepy dumpling for 13 months. Neo Tono for being a dumpling for 12 months. And Max B for being a sleepy dumpling for 11 months months. Thank you all so, so much. A lot of you, it looks like, are going to get new badges, new things, um, and I'm really excited for you guys. So thank you, and thank you for directly supporting the channel and me to continue to make these videos. So let's talk about how I made this artwork. I've been giving wallpapers away to members actually for a couple of months now. Um, so if you become a member as of right now, you'll be able to access everything I've made so far. Um, but yeah, so this month's, uh, even though it's April, because kind of towards the end of the month is when I give these wallpapers out, um, I wanted this one to be Star Wars theme because it was going to be so close to May anyway. Um, and I really was inspired by um, Star Wars Visions because... Um, I don't know if you've seen that, but Star Wars Visions is kind of like a Star Wars um, show that has a whole ton of um, different animation animation styles and studios making a bunch of these um, a bunch of these like Star Wars shorts essentially, and they were all incredible. I loved Star Wars Visions. So season two is coming out and Ardman Animation, who does um stop motion with like clay and puppetry and things, um, they are making one for this season. And that's coming out actually I think May 4th, the second season on Disney Plus. And I thought it would be really cool to try and make um something kind of that looked kind of like clay. I've done a clay kind of texture before. This time though, I did have issues. I'm not sure why. I definitely have to keep working on texturing, but we'll get there. So for right now, I'm kind of building the robot. I built a table first for the set. I actually, for the first time, drew a little kind of reference image for myself of what I wanted, um, which you'll probably see as I'm working in the small lower box. Um, but yeah, I wanted to work on this robot. It's so cute. And I wanted something that wasn't necessarily too difficult, um, to make in Blender, um, because I'm still, you know, sometimes things in life come up in Blender will take a backseat for a couple days or maybe a week or so. And so I feel like I'm not as practiced as I should be. Um, but I, I love making these wallpapers actually because it helps me to stay consistent um, and work on these projects. This one took about a week because I did have issues with it. But um, overall, I think it came out okay. The textures definitely, I, I wish were more the way I envisioned them, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm overall happy that it actually came together. So this robot was really cool to make. Um, I did have to do some new things that I've learned that I haven't really used in, um, like modeling before. Like you could see, I drew those lines, um, and that's called basically cutting. So I can basically cut out shapes that I wouldn't normally be able to make with it's called geometry that is already existing. We're not going to get too into it because I think it'll get really boring, but I mean, you are trying to sleep. So maybe if it's boring, it's okay. This part I did work on. Sh so I started, I finished the robot. It's modeling. I was real. I am really proud of that robot. Not going to lie. Um, so I started working on the characters, which you can actually see my little, I'm still not great at sketching my little sketch for reference at the bottom. Um, and I started with the shoe and for some reason I'm not great at making shoes. Like I feel like I need to maybe watch a tutorial, kind of see the techniques used for how people make shoes and, and how they look. So sometimes they look so soft and super nice. And so I wanted that, but they, for me, they always come out looking very strange or they're too small. So I do actually redo the boots. So ignore the boots for now. Um, but I wanted the body to be one 
kind of unit because I knew I was going to rig this, which we'll get there. Um, rigging is a nightmare for me, but I wanted to make the inner body with the robe, like one, or sorry, the, um, outfit underneath one, like, unit, and then the coat, like you're seeing now, on the outside, one unit in itself with its arms attached to the coat and not the actual body, um, because I just wanted to rig the coat, um, to try and do the least amount of rigging as possible, which proved to be very difficult. This actually coat, it came, I think it came out pretty good. I've never made a coat this way, but it definitely could use work and definitely practice, I think. Um, I attached the wrists to the coat as well, and I was going to do the hands separately later. And I really wanted the coat, like, sleeves to puff, like, Jedi sleeves kind of do. These are supposed to be kind of bad ones who were out in Tatooine, kind of just doing things. So then I started um, doing things, sorry. Started working on the face, and this was a little more fun. I've been really trying to work on human faces, and this one was going to be a very cartoony type of face, especially because I was pulling inspiration from memory from, like, um, claymations or stop motion and, and like, um, little clay sculptures and stuff. And so I was really proud of the mouth, actually, because I was struggling with that. I used a technique with a tool called the Boole tool, and I basically just cut the mouth out instead of sculpting it out, because I'm still learning sculpting, extremely new to it. Um, and I think the mouth came out okay. I think the face actually came out okay. Um, but the hair, as you're about to see, was a little more, was something I've just started doing is incorporating sculpting. I actually just had a crash, <laughs> as you'll see. Um, this crashed a lot as we got moved on, but that's okay. Um, so I just basically like copy pasted what I did from the scalp, from the scalp, just to like make the hair follow the scalp properly. Um, and then made that copy paste, um, shape its own item. Um, and then basically started to, um, pull pieces to make it look like curly hair. Um, I've done this before and it actually looked pretty good. I think this hair actually turned out to be okay. Um, I'm still trying to find new ways to communicate, um, hair the way that I want, um, without using like the whole, it's called geometry notes to make more realistic looking hair. I'll get there, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. Um, and I try to just keep applying things I learn or maybe things I'm not comfortable with to get used to them. So here there's more of a straight hairstyle. So I, I think this actually, I didn't do a great job on. It didn't turn out the way I saw in my head, um, which made me frustrated. So I actually go over this quite a few times. Um, and I actually redid the hair a couple times on that character and then made adjustments. But now we're in what's called the texturing um, area or shading area. And I just started adding colors and textures so I could really get a feel for if things are looking strange or, um, you know, if things are just not looking right, I can fix them. Um, the skin texture for both actually I made myself um, and without like um, I watched a video and kind of figured out how to make that myself. So I keep that one on the side. As you can see, I pulled it in, um, and kind of use it. But I think I want to keep learning texturing better. I usually use very simple textures. Deciding to do the Play-Doh with like fingerprint texture was, you know, something I've done before and it worked really well. Um, but it didn't work really well this time. So I think I have to learn more about... Like, not that it didn't work well, it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. So I think I have to really figure out texturing. It can be quite overwhelming, as you can see, just adding colors. On these characters, I just did really basic colors at first. Um, and as you can see, it's just like that one little panel at the bottom. I didn't even zoom out. Um, but just like little panels, there's all these little nodes that connect to each other to ultimately make whatever texture you want. Um... Like, for example, these eyes, I can't make that kind of texture myself. So these are actually something called Tiny Eye, um, made by a really awesome creator. Um, and um, it was a free, completely free. And so I kind of use these eyes um, in a bunch of different things now to try and get used to using them. Um, so from there, now that they're kind of 
textured to a light degree with basic textures. I started on the backgrounds, which I wanted there to be kind of like sand dunes because this is kind of supposed to be tattooing. Um, and so, you know, I started working on clouds because I thought those would look really cute in the background um, of the sky. I did the two suns. I do end up looking at a reference later because um, I wasn't sure exactly if this was translating the way I had thought of it in my head. I didn't draw the background in my reference image, as you can kind of see some of it over there, um, just because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted, but I always knew it would be tattooing, like a sand, you know, because it's very recognizable. Um, so yeah, here's the rigging. The rigging, as you can see, is a lot. I literally cut it because so much of it I did not recording. Um, I just wanted their hands to move, and it kind of started ruining the coat for what I wanted, so I had to do a lot of micro adjustments. Thankfully, because this is supposed to be clay, some of those mistakes actually worked in the favor of the texture, um, with the fingerprints and stuff. So there I was adding the fingerprint texturing, which you can see all those notes. And then I started kind of adding that texture to everything. I redid the boots as well, changed some colors, um, and then started working on the sky in the background and just trying to keep bringing these colors of green, orange, and then the sand, um, together. And I decided the table needed stuff on it, which I didn't originally plan. So I did like a little lightsaber hilt. Um, I was considering having the lightsaber be on, but then I thought that would, they would not just have it on in the background, but I really wanted there to be glowing stuff. So I do account for that later, but I just made a really simple, like little lightsaber hilt. I crashed again because so many items are in the scene. And then I decided to make like the cube that actually one of the Padawans is finally figuring out they can use the force to like hold and control, which the other Padawans excited for them. The, these cubes are kind of getting 3d printed in the background. Um, and it's like they're 3d printing them for, I don't know, some reason, I don't really know, but they ended up using one to kind of practice and they were really excited. So the 3d printer I thought could look kind of, um, like an older style thing, but then, um, I don't know, just have it be more of a neutral tone to blend into the world. So I worked on adding in just little tubes for lasers and I would light them up. I knew the background would be blurred a lot as well, but I just thought that extra light would look really cool. Um, in the background and have the lasers coming down and like, as if it's, you know, printing this. Um, so yeah, I did struggle with the color at first of the little printer, but I decided as neutral as possible would be fine because it's in the background. Um, and I kind of angled it and honestly, the table's kind of smaller than these characters would use, but I thought it ended up looking okay because I didn't want it to overlap the dooms, dunes too much, but it is kind of it's kind of small. So then I started working on the, um, background. See, I pulled up a reference for the colors of the suns for tattooing because I wasn't sure I had gotten them right. And also the sky color at like a time of day. And I think it really started to come together. The lighting came together. Um, and I think it started looking pretty good. And yeah, so that is the artwork and the image. Thank you so much for watching. I'll probably make more of these. These will be different every single month. Um, and I think even though there are some modeling differences, I think that's totally okay. Um, for the fact that it's supposed to look clay, clay made. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, constructive criticism is always helpful. Um, also this is the only like image I took of the wallpaper. I actually wanted to also do a vertical one, but then I noticed with the camera setting, the vertical was messing up the image and didn't look good. So let me know if next time you'd like to see it also in a vertical for like phone wallpapers. And then this is like a 2k image for like, um, desktops and stuff like that. But yeah, that is the artwork. It was pretty cool to work on. And thank you so much again to the members of this channel. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you all in the next member shadow next month.